everyone and welcome to the channel. Right, we're going to do something slightly different in this episode. I've been looking back at the three previous and although I'm really happy with them, I don't think that Anne is progressing as quickly as I would have hoped she was. Um, I thought she would have made a bit more money by now. Now it's clear that she is making most of her money by fishing because that's her highest skill. So rather than me doing an entire episode of and fishing. I have recorded three episodes and what you're going to see now is the highlights of those three episodes. Um, I'll include as much as I can which is relevant but because most of it is fishing we will sort of skip over that. Um, what I will say is um, what I did record is the full 24 hours without any cheats or anything. I stay true to my word and what we'll do is at the end we'll have a look and see what she's caught acquired stolen whatever um, and then we'll go through each item sell it and see where we are at the end of the episode because hopefully we will then have enough money to start thinking about building the house so without further ado let's get started i think we'll start off by saying that it was decided my, by me that we wouldn't buy a lottery ticket then the reason for that is every time i buy a ticket when i'm playing the game i never win and so i'm just wondering why would this be any different and also supposing Anne did win that would be the end of the challenge wouldn't it and you know that's not what we're here for so we're not going to bother with the lottery we are going to just muscle down and see what we can do now if you remember we found a yogurt on the floor so i said well we're going to have that after we've had our main course so there we go one free yogurt which i don't think is bad at all now what are we going to do i th oh well, hello who are you Oh, right, okay, I think we are in the chaos at the moment, so we'll just move away. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Now somebody is coming and sitting next to Anne, and Anne is a loner. She doesn't like contact with other people. So um, stay calm, play it cool, Anne. Don't let shit bother you. Don't make eye contact, you'll be fine. So far, so good. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Always made a laugh, that's nice. Yes, good idea. Move away quickly. Well, we kind of made a friend there, so that's not too bad. <laughs> oh, two lots of rubbish. Well done, Anne. Right, the first thing we did today on day four is we decided to paint again. Now I'm hoping that we're not going to break even this time. So the canvas cost is 50 simoleons. And I'm hoping, I know this is only the second picture that she's painted. I really am hoping that she's going to make at least a little bit of profit on this. So we're going to take advantage of this free easel in the uh, library and it looks very much like she's painting a llama which might earn a little bit more, more money than when she painted a flower. We shall see at the end of the episode. Well Anne's happy with it anyway. Right, so it's back to the fishing and Anne spent the rest of the morning fishing over in the desert. Unsuccessfully, unfortunately, um, not much use for a chunk of wood, so that got tossed straight back. Better luck next time. And next time, what did we get? Anything interesting? A very large fish. We like that. We like that a lot. More of those, please. Right, it's the evening now and Anne's been fishing for most of the day 
Uh, but I think we've got time to have a little rummage through the bins while nobody's looking. Let's see if we can find anything. I think she's going to be doing this when nobody's looking. It is quite humiliating. Yo, Zip. Khalifa. Oh. Oh, Niba Hana Pampini. Well, clean it up then. You made the mess. <laughs> oh, sadly, we didn't pick anything up from there, but uh, better luck next time. Right, it's uh, dinner time now, and before Anne goes to sleep, she's made a batch of jacket potatoes. Um, I think now her cooking skills are going up, she is able to cook a few more different things. So the jacket potatoes will hopefully stay fresh a little bit longer than all the other food that she's been cooking. And she has cooked quite a large batch of them as well so fingers crossed that should last her a few days and if not well we can always go back to that little kiosk and get something to eat which uh, seems to be quite favorable right now right so Anne is absolutely shattered and she is off to sleep yes I know lottery day was awful we didn't buy a ticket <laughs> right it's day two now and Anne is Wanting a wee. <laughs> so anyway, we sent her off for a wee and she's back now. And look, she can start to harvest the plants. And we are getting 14 simoleons for every plant that she harvests. So that is really good. So I imagine every time they grow, she can start harvesting them and getting some money. And she's going to get 14 simoleons for every one. That is going to help the bank balance a lot. Right, it's back to the library now. And we are going to write our second book. And we're going to call it... I know it's not very original, but it's going to be Surviving with Anne. Part two. Ah. Now this is a librarian. Oh. <laughs> and I've never heard a librarian or anybody go ah. yoo-hoo. But nevertheless, she's uh, uh, having a little chat with Anne and asking what she's doing. And <laughs> Anne says she's writing a book. And uh, the librarian says, well, you know, if I can help in any way, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. That's very nice of her. <laughs> right, we're getting towards the end of the book now. And Anne is so engrossed, she has no idea that she's got a celebrity sat directly opposite her. And she doesn't even notice the photographer over her right shoulder either. Now, if she had noticed it earlier on, it probably would have put her off. But nevertheless, the book is now finished. And just in time, by the look of it, because uh, the library is getting very full and very busy. Now, another hobby that um, Anne has figured out, which might earn her some money, is she's going to look for frogs. Now, I've found this log here that she's going to have a little look in. If she has a hunt around in there, she may find a frog. Excellent. Now we can sell those. Now there's some common ones and some rare ones. If it's a rare one, obviously it's going to be uh, worth a lot more money. Now this is the all-nighter that I told you about. Um, she's down by the sea this time, is Anne. Now if you're you're um, fishing by the sea, you are more likely to get um, the bigger fish like tuna. Now, the bigger the fish, the more money they're worth. So this is why I decided to let Anne do a bit of an all-nighter here. Um, all I'll say as is it was really quite profitable. So the next morning, Anne is running back home to check the mail, see if she's earned any uh, royalties from her books yet. But first of all, she's gone over to San Michuno. Now, this is um, where all the like trendy places are and the apartments and things. But she's going to have a little look round to see if she can find any 
classier rubbish in the bins and also it might be useful to do a bit of fishing here because it's uh, where it is she may get some oriental fish but first of all she is going to rather sneakily help herself to a glass of water in this uh, I don't know what it is really it looks like a wedding venue and this is where the wedding reception would take place by the looks of it so the fishing how is this going seaweed well don't be too pleased with it throw it back not very good unfortunately it wasn't particularly successful um goldfish mostly caught here but nevertheless you sell them and you get something which is really great so we're back in the desert now and we are going to have a little rummage through the bins while nobody's looking and we have found something which is great so it's back to the tent for another good night's sleep so that's day two over with now i'm very happy with the way today went because we did earn a lot of money i'm sure with all that fishing so day three and this is where we are going to have a look at all the items that we have managed to accumulate now let's have a look see what we've got or more important how much we're earning so nine that's not too bad it's not too good either but we are going up in price 15 excellent 103 that's very handy and a goldfish that shouldn't earn much 11 well it's better than a kick in the teeth i suppose a guppy we get 24 it's all mounting up now what's this well, i don't know what it was but it was 51 that's very good and we also have 66 now you see the total is mounting up now i knew it would happen so the next fish is 23 not too bad tuna now that should be quite a lot of money 269 perfect that's just what we needed what about this one 60 that's very very good This one is 20. I think we'll get rid of all the fish first and then we'll go through all the other things. Angel fish. What have we got for that? 48. Very good. Right. Not sure about that one. Oh, 96. Well, just goes to show how much I know about this. <laughs> right. I think that's all the fish now. Now we've got a rose crystal. And an apple let's get rid of the apple what how much is that worth it shouldn't be much three but nevertheless it's better than nothing now here's the rose crystal no we're going to go for the rose <laughs> 29 perfect the frog well that's quite a common frog so that didn't go for much 10 simoleons but the eggplant frog is worth a lot more now how much are we going to get for that? A hundred! Wonderful! So look at the price we've got now. 1,203. Now this is stuff that we found in the bin. That's worth 50. Perfect. Now the painting is worth 77 and we bought the canvas for 50. So we have made a profit, which is brilliant. We found this in the bin as well. And that's worth 85 fantastic now a kitchen upgrade part we actually caught in the uh, in the river 90 brilliant look at the money a fossil rock how much is that worth 50 perfect now here's that rose crystal and that's worth 24 better than nothing 
now this mysterious time capsule we're going to open that and see what we've got Anna, Rashu and Arva. Huh. Ooh. Huh. oh right it's one of those sims toy things well we're not going to collect them so we'll sell it for 60 so look at that 1639 that is really good and we've got all those plants to sort out as well which we will do later on but i don't think we've done badly at all oh is i going to do those now oh excellent she's going to do those now so that should bump the profits up even more excellent i reckon we are going to have enough to buy a house very very soon at this rate so well done Anne. i think you've done brilliant well i think this episode has worked reasonably okay at least you know where we are in the game now and i think in the next episode we are going to think about buying or building a house thank you for watching see you in episode seven